In this video, we're going to be looking at Fibonacci type sequences. Now, in a Fibonacci sequence, what you have are two initial terms, and then each subsequent term is formed by adding the previous two terms. Let's take a look at some examples. Here's the first example. Now, this is the original Fibonacci sequence. It starts off with a one and a one, and you'll notice that each subsequent term is just the sum of the previous two. So let's have a look at this. That two there is what you get when you add these together. One plus one is two. To get this three, we add the two previous terms of the sequence. One plus two gives us three. To get this five, we add the two previous terms. That's these ones, two plus three, that gives us five. To get the eight, we're simply adding these together, three plus five gives us eight. So that's how Fibonacci type sequences work. To find these missing terms, therefore, all we have to do is add these two together first to get that one. Five plus eight is 13. To get the next one here, we need to add the two previous terms. That's eight and 13. Eight plus 13 is 21. And to get this missing term here, we need to add these two together. 13 plus 21 is 34. And we could carry on forever, but we've answered the question. We found the three missing terms in this particular Fibonacci type sequence. Here's the second example. Pause the video and try filling in these missing numbers for yourself. Here's the answer. Notice again that this follows the same kind of rule as before. We've got two initial terms, six and nine. The 15 is worked out by doing six plus nine. The 24 is worked out by doing nine plus 15. So to get this term here, we need to do 15 plus 24. Adding those together gives us 39. The next term is worked out by doing 24 plus 39 and that gives us 63. And to get this term here, we need to add 39 and 63 together. Adding those, we get 102. Here's the third example. Now this one is a bit trickier. I haven't given you the first three terms, but you've got these bits of information. Can you work backwards? Pause the video and have a go. If you're not sure, keep watching and I'll explain how you do this one. Right, here we go. Notice, first of all, that this fits in with what we know already. That number 31 has to be what we get when we add 12 and 19 together. And if you just test it out, 12 plus 19, you'll see that it is 31. Okay, let's think about the 19. How do we get 19 in this sequence? Well, it should be what we get when we add this number here, this missing number, to 12. So what missing number plus 12 gives us 19? Well, that's seven. Another way of working that out would be to do 19 minus 12. If you subtract 12 off 19, you get seven. Let's just test this works, seven plus 12, yes, that's 19. So we've got this missing number here. Now let's think about the 12. What number has to go here? Well, remember, to get that number there, it has to be what we get when we add these two together the sum of the previous two terms. So what number plus seven gives us 12? Well, the answer is five. Again, we could have worked that out by doing 12 minus seven, and that gives us five. Similarly, we can do seven minus five to give us two, or another way of looking at that would have been what number plus five would have given us seven? Well, that missing number had to be a two. So here we have it the missing three numbers in this Fibonacci type sequence. Here's the next example. The point of this is really just to show you that Fibonacci type sequences don't have to involve whole numbers. Here we've got some with decimals, but the same idea applies. 0 0.5 plus one, that gives us 1.5. To find that missing number there, we do one plus 1.5, and that would give us 2.5. 1.5 plus 2.5, that gives us four, which we've been given. 
To find that number there, we need to do 2.5 plus 4, and that gives us 6.5. And to find that last missing number on here, we need to do 4 plus 6.5, and that gives us 10.5. Here's the next example. Pause the video and fill this one in for yourself. Right, we've got one plus negative one giving us zero. Negative one plus zero should give us negative one, so that's what goes in there. Negative one plus negative one gives us negative two, so that's what goes in there. Negative one plus negative two is negative three, so that's what goes in there. Here's the last example. Pause the video and have a go at this one. Here's the answer. Now, we follow exactly the same steps as we've been following so far. That term is found simply by adding the previous two together. So what's a plus b? Well, it's just a plus b. The next term, this one here, is found by adding these two together. So we've got b plus a plus b. Now, b plus a plus b is the same as a plus 2b. And this term here is found by adding these two together. So we've got a plus b plus a plus 2b. And if we collect the like terms, we've got 2a plus a b plus two more b. So that's plus 3b altogether. So those are the next three terms in this Fibonacci type sequence.